people love it. Some crave it. And a lucky few get a college credit to eat it. Who would want to take a course that's strictly candy? I love to eat candy all the time, so I wouldn't mind doing that. <laughs> Welcome to the sweetest class on the UW-Madison campus. I remember the first day I walked in and there was just candy sitting on every single table. We basically taste our way through all of the commercial candies that I can find. Never would have thought that would happen and I'd be getting credit for it. I was like, I think this is going to work. It's like Halloween in here, every day. Basically Monday we sit down in a circle, eat candy, talk about candy. Tuesday we come in, make candy, eat candy, talk about candy. And then Wednesday we come in and look at the candy we made on Tuesday and then eat it. So it went from being liquid to being solid. As they eat their way through class, they become experts by making every kind of candy imaginable. Last week we made fondants and creams. This week we're making caramels and fudge and toffee. Next week they're going to do uh, rock candy and cotton candy. Sure, the class is delicious, but it's also demanding. No one believes me, no. I come home with bags of candy. My roommate's just like, another hard day in candy, wasn't it? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it may not look like it, but this is actually a rigorous science class. We basically learn the chemistry and the engineering of food products. Food engineering is basically a mix between food science and mechanical engineering. It actually is a really challenging class. 2.15, go. These caramel batches are, are uh, designed to show the effects of uh, things like protein content, uh, reducing sugar content. We're looking at breaking it down to the molecule size. You have to think of all the chemical reactions. Like the interaction between proteins and sugars. And the ingredients, the temperature, the stirring rate, it all goes into the final product. So our lab reports are relatively difficult. I really wanted to do the research part and really understand ingredient functionalities. I really can't eat a product anymore without analyzing it. So I could go into the grocery store, pick up a piece of candy, and tell you exactly why it is the way it is based on ingredients. The science of candy wasn't always so precise. Old-time candy makers, they could just look at their candy mass as it was cooking or something and say, oh, it needs this, it needs that, it's almost done, like any chef. But when it's on a manufacturing plant and you're making 1,000 pounds of caramel an hour, you need to understand the science behind it. We looked at 20 different types of caramel, and they're all made differently. If you change a certain temperature, if you change a certain amount of protein levels, your product's going to completely change. It may stick to the package, it may stick to the equipment as it passes through if you don't get it right. These students learn how to get it right by doing it. It's not like you're being told in a lecture. We get to be really hands-on and we discover everything for ourselves, see everything for ourselves, and taste everything for ourselves. Over the years, University of Wisconsin has become renowned in the candy industry. Well, as far as I know, this is the only course in the U.S., if not the entire world. It started in Madison because of the close proximity to Chicago and candy giants like Wrigley. The class has been shaped by close ties to the industry. What I'm learning in classes is exactly what they're doing out there. And the big companies are looking for that. So pair up as well because we, we're doing this for data. I can place students in internships and help them find jobs. After working an internship with Wrigley, Amy DeYoung is back in the program to become a candy doctor of sorts. It sounds a little bit ridiculous. My mom tells her friends that I'm getting a PhD in candy. <laughs> but she's confident she'll have... A pretty sweet job, I guess. <laughs> and she's not alone. This will be working process development with Mars Chocolate North America. I'm actually going to be working at Wrigley, so they might put me in, you know, candy product development. Where she may be working on the next big flavor. You know, it's top secret. <laughs> so they're at Hershey, they're at Mars, they're at Wrigley, uh, and that they're at many of the smaller companies as well. One of the things that I'm doing is helping populate the candy industry with uh, the future scientists. It's so much fun. Who would have thought the science of candy could fulfill childhood dreams? When you're a kid, you're like, yeah, it'd be so cool if I could like make candy. And then you never really think it as a serious job when you get older, but it turns out that it's actually a really realistic job and it's a great job. It's a product that makes people happy. It's a product you can feel good about making. It's hard to take yourself too seriously when at the end of the day you're just making candy. This 
looks like heaven. Second.